Why is that still saying? Oh, because it hasn't. I guess it hasn't updated succession yet. We are. We can't go to max centralization yet, so we're gonna have to start creating vassals soon. Which is okay. I'm actually gonna start placing them in Saxon areas and putting high stewardship um, Breton rulers there to help convert the locals. I actually might do that now. Let's. Can we revoke his title? Still have a truce, and we don't have the law for it. Yeah, let's go ahead and pass. Revoke title allowed law. Got it. Because she's not going to be around that much longer, so if I incur some tyranny, uh, it won't be too big of a deal. Vassal inheritance warning. Bishop of Wells might pass outside of our realm. That's not that big a deal. She actually doesn't like us anymore right now either. Mostly because we have a lot of bad <laughs> character traits. Uh, let's see. I think we can build another holding now. We've been waiting to do that. Almost. White Stag! Let's go look for it. Oh, unless... Okay, we still can't build monastic schools. That's right, universities are expensive. I know I do this every episode. <laughs> so we're waiting to build universities until we have uh, our holding slots filled up. So... Princess... Agnathel will also get a military education. And I will educate her myself. She's our backup. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of uh, female rulers in a row here just because the women in our dynasty have much better stats right now. Alright. Uh, during your hunt, you come to a deep gorge. Right on the other side is the white stag staring at you. You're so close that you cannot reach it. As it runs away, you realize you must return home without a victory this time. Um, but I get the hunter trait. This character feel only feels truly alive when killing God's little creatures. <laughs> awesome. So, Queen Hulbu the Hunter of Breton. Okay. Let's let my vassal fight off the Vikings. Well, he's gonna fail. He's gonna fuck it up, so we have to send help. Alright. think we can get that holding slot now? Yeah, so I'm going to build another bishopric, um, just so I don't need to worry about my domain limit so much, and that way I can have two universities and two monastic schools, which will allow me to become the center of, of learning that I would like to be. Again, I know there will be people yelling at me like, you need more troops, build a castle, but I think we'll be okay. So my kinswoman, yeah, I'm going to give her the ambitious trait and make her my rival. Because if she assassinates me or something, then I have another good young queen <laughs> to play as. Oh, Leah Vercio died explosively vomiting at the age of 68. We will remember you well, Leah Vercio. You were quite a credit to the realm. One of the greatest servants of the Mob Arthur dynasty. This guy doesn't really like me, but that's okay, because if I get assassinated, I get to play as my young genius ward here. And we can appoint a new commander. What's our dynastic prestige? It's at 7k right now. That's pretty pretty respectable. Pretty damn respectable. How long do we have a truce with this guy? Because I really want to revoke his title before I die. I forget. They, they must have taken out where it shows truces. I 
I guess I'll get a pop-up when the truce is about to expire. Uh, Alfhilder of Orland, the, uh, the wife of Chief the Chief of Sagtuna has been spending a few days in Devon. It's been a very nice experience meeting her. Yeah, let's do a non-aggression pact. It'll keep one Viking from raiding us. Or I guess he's Finnish, actually. Uh, nope. Doesn't want a non-aggression pact. I have a new vassal. He really doesn't like me. He wants to be on the council, so I'll make him my chaplain. He's apparently not eligible to be my chaplain. What other stats does he have that would be useful? Not really any. Um, I guess I could make him my marshal. Why else does he not like me? Mostly just because he wants a seat on the council. Yeah, okay. We'll let you train troops in Devon, and the real men will actually lead our troops. Raiders have appeared. To raid. And do all kinds of raid-type things. We're going to fight them off with a much smaller army. <laughs> and capture one of their commanders. Do we have anyone we can ransom, by the way? Nope. No one anyone cares about. Troublesome peasants. You getting, uh, getting any claims anytime soon? Any claims? You want to give us a claim, maybe? You have a claim. Oh, my amazing steward died. That's unfortunate. Brought much wealth to the realm. I will make my kinsman here the new steward. Righteous imprisonment. What is Podnulf trying? He wants to kill my heir. Yeah, stop that. And he died bedridden a day later. <laughs> Serves you right. Yeah, that mayor is really mad that I fired him from the council. <laughs> to put in a guy with more political clout who was not near his equal in terms of uh, ability. Alright, so my heir has become a uh, brilliant strategist. She unfortunately does have a, uh, a double chin thing going on here. But uh, yeah, let's let's find a marriage for her. Preferably someone smart. Yeah, genius married to a genius. Let's do it. And we will collect the gold from that. We need gold more than prestige right now. Awesome. Now have lots of genius kids. Please tell me he wasn't celibate because I didn't check. Chaste, that's not good. But we can fix that when we actually play as her. He's also chased. Well, look at that. <laughs> How long until this new holding is built? Oh, they're raiding our capital. Damn them. According to your marshal, Rickwin Op... Blah, 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 the peasants of Somerset are having frequent troubles with highwaymen and wild beasts. He suggests cr constructing a series of outposts along the roads of Somerset. The peasantry would feel much safer and might even lead to more peasants moving to the county. Uh, yes, absolutely. Cornwall is prospering. Awesome. We captured a Germanic priest in that battle. There we go. Temple has finished construction. We create a new vassal. And we are going to just invest a shitload of money here. Let him run.
We've seen the white stag. More Vikings, and they immediately left. <laughs> Going after the white stag. Uh, did she lose genius? Is she just quick now? Yeah, I guess she got that event. Uh, she must learn on her own. It's my own failure. And the Vikings are back. Still not a single successful Viking raid in, you know, over a hundred years, I don't think. Well, not quite. Viking Age started in 793, so we've still got about 20 years to go. At least we're getting prestige from these <laughs> battles. If we could get a claim, that'd be nice. If we could just get a claim, just, just a little claim... Claim would be nice. If we could, if we get a claim. If we just get a claim from you. If we could just uh, get you to give us a claim. They only have one other count level vassal. Why? We still have a truce? Really? Really? What epidemic is happening? Oh, a smallpox epidemic that started in our own region. There's also a syphilis epidemic, which is not a historical, because we have Sunset Invasion turned on. So they could have gotten it from the Aztecs. Syphilis is a New World disease, uh, for those of you that didn't know that. Oh, they look, they converted one more province to Nahua. And Aztec religion. Lose the honest trait. What are the Aztec holy sites, by the way? The completely ab arbitrary Aztec holy sites. Uh, so Marrakech is one of them, apparently. I can't even tell. These colors are so... Paris is one. Middlesex is one. Cordoba is one, and I have uh, Rome. Okay, so basically, they have to assert their dominance over all of Europe to, to, um, reform their religion. Capturing more Vikings who are like of no consequence. Like, I don't think we can even ransom any of these guys. Yeah, because nobody cares enough to pay for their release. If I plot to revoke his title, would that... be better? No, I can't. Can't do it. Okay. Raiders from Skorna. All right, my aunt has given me a hunting dog. I'll name him Hunter, because I'm that creative. So that might keep me alive a little longer. Almost got enough money to build a university. I don't know if there's a way to check, but I'm hoping we will have the first university in Britain. Finished her education in the ways of war and become a brilliant strategist. Awesome. So she's our backup queen if our current heir dies for some reason. And because of that, we are going to want to find her a suitable match. <laughs> Apparently the only person who would accept a matrilineal marriage from her is her... Our, 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 one of our relatives. So we'll wait until she is either heir or queen to get a better match for her. 